So how do you install carpet strips on a concrete subfloor and on a wood subfloor? In this video, I'm going to break it down for you. What's good? It's Carpet Mike here from CarpetExpertBlueprint.com. And in this video, yes, we are tackling the tricks to go ahead and get carpet strips to stick to a concrete subfloor. Now, we got that old school asbestos tile going on right now. And typically, you're supposed to run immediately the second you see that stuff. In Cleveland, we just dive right into it. So if you come across that take precaution they do say it does cause cancer and everything else but anyway let's get to the video at hand here we have some traditional standard carpet tack strips that you could buy at any of the big box stores lowe's home depot whatever it has an 11 16 concrete nail and you may be saying why are you setting that back so far well the reason we're setting it back so far from the wall and typically you do not do that is because the concrete is so jacked up over there we need to give it about a two inch gap just to get some good good surface for us to swing those nails into now the reason for the 11 16 nails that come standard in the strip being perfect for this is because we have to get through the tile and get it to grab right into the concrete there and this is the perfect product for that now if we are dealing with regular concrete floor no tile on top of it then the five ace concrete nail is actually going to be your best bet in the vast majority of cases it doesn't come standard on the tack strips that you could get in all the commercial joints you have to get that at the you know carpet supply stores things like that you could probably order them on amazon as well but at all the commercial joints you could pick up a box of five ace concrete nails they got a little carton of it for about four dollars you could use those as your fill nails if the long nails are giving you problems jumping into the concrete there but let's go ahead and dive into a different scenario just so you can see what's good this is fantastic for going through tile let's go on a concrete floor straight up now this concrete is super agreeable and i got mad skills swinging the hammer you know what i'm saying so we're going to go ahead and just swing that hard body and nail those 11 16 nails directly into the concrete but you can have many cases where you will have this nut grab in your favor and that's where you need those five ace nails actually you see the five ace nails right there next to my fuzzy knee those are the ones you can get at the stores Lowe's and Home Depot pick a box of those up it'll make your life a million times easier when you're working your way around the room trying to get things to stick now we got us a wood subfloor here nothing to think about on this installing tax strip on a wood subfloor easiest thing on the planet just swing and go swing and go your biggest concern without a doubt is going to be try not to smash the baseboard with the hammer when you're getting a little too confident work your way around the room always keep a little bit of touch up paint nearby maybe some caulk to go ahead and fill that big old gouge you're going to put into it with the hammer don't worry even the best of the best still gouge baseboards to this day and if they say they don't they lying carpet guys are liars anyway so if you have any questions about the carpet and flooring industry how to get tack strip to stick what's the best case scenarios oh wait a minute let's go ahead and cover one more thing here when installing on a concrete subfloor and you are just fighting a losing battle you cannot get it to win first things first make sure you're actually using concrete nails but on top of that you can always glue the tack strip to the concrete subfloor to get it to stick you could use pl 400 you could use liquid nails you could use contact adhesives but you gotta let it cure for about 24 hours and then you're good to go so now let's go ahead and close out all this fun if you have any questions about the carpet and flooring industry go ahead and comment down below thank you so much for tuning in and i'll see you on the next video